Welcome to Frontline. In this video, I'm going to show you the multiple different reports you can run within the Pro Standards Tracker. So underneath this reports module here, you are able to run reports on any of those modules. So we're just going to start with this compliments and awards section first. You have your general report where you can mix and match any of this information here. You can filter through your compliments and awards on this section. So let's just start with the compliments first. Maybe we want to know how many leadership compliments have we gotten so far year to date? We can go ahead and plug in those date range, hit search, and it's gonna show those here. I can view these directly from here, see everything that's occurred within that. I can export that out by PDF and or Excel as well. Maybe I wanna look at my awards. How many life-saving awards have we given so far? I can hit search. It's gonna break that down for me. If I wanted to break it down even further and choose an employee, I can go ahead and select that employee and it's gonna break that down for me as well. Your performance summary, you can either look at just your compliments, just awards, or both your compliments and awards. So you can either look as a department as a whole or by employee. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe just look at this year so far as a whole. I can hit search. I can see that we've had 27 compliments so far, how they came in. On the right hand side, you'll get an actual number for each. The awards and what those awards were. This one is printable by PDF. You have your complaint section. So again, mix and match any of this information. Maybe we want to know how many demeanor complaints have we had year to date. I could hit search. It's going to show me those results here. I can view those. Maybe I want to know out of those, how many needed some training. I can hit search. It's going to break that down even further for me. And I can print this out in a PDF and or Excel. Your performance summary, again, break it down department as a whole or by employee. So let's just look at this year so far, maybe for a certain employee. I can go ahead and select that employee hit search, and it's gonna give me a breakdown. Now I can see here for Mike Solano, he's had 18 complaints, how they came in, how many of each, the investigation type, your complaint types, your resolution type, your action taken. I can print this out in a PDF as well. The force report, you have a few different ways you can run a use of force report. So this first one, is going to be either department as a whole or by officer and you can select your time frame as well so let's just look at this month so far i can see that we've had 17 cases 18 total incidents it's going to give me a breakdown of all those incidents here so i have my incident types a breakdown of those how many and the percentage on the right hand side i have my day of the week reason for defensive action was it indoor, outdoor, your weather condition, your officer info, sex and race, your subject info, sex and race. You have your force that was used. And then your resolution and your action taken on those use of force reports. I can print this one out in a PDF as well. You have your officer breakdown. So this is going to give you a breakdown by incident and by incident type. So you can go ahead and select that time frame that you want to look at. So this is going to show me that for this month so far, we've had 18 incidents. So out of those 18, I can see eight of them were with Michael Scott for 44.44% of the time. It was on Michael Scott. Ethan had four and so on. A breakdown by that incident type. So out of those 18, two were for level one, three for burglary and so on. I can click on an employee over here. It's going to give me a quick dashboard of how that employee has been doing within that time frame. I can change that time frame within here as well. This is going to show me a pie graph, the incident type. So I can see 50% of the time it was for a traffic stop. Your reason for defensive action pie graph. A month over month of how this officer is doing within that time frame a breakdown of all those incidents within that time frame, and a little more information regarding those incidents here. You can print this off in a PDF for this employee. 
you have your advanced force report. So you can come in, you can search for a certain case number, time of incident range, the incident type if you wanted to look at one specifically, or even the status of that report. You can use this advanced search here where you can literally mix and match, slice and dice, whatever data you are looking for to run a report. So maybe I want to know how many male white officers have used force against a male white offender. I can go ahead and apply these filters. Once I do so, it's going to give me my results here. I can view all those. I can export this out PDF and or Excel. All my filters are going to be shown here for what I've applied in this advanced search section. Maybe I want to know out of these, how many times was a taser used? I can go in and add my type of force used as a taser, apply that filter, and now it's going to break it down even further for me. You can get as specific as you want. All these drop down fields are what you're going to be able to see on that actual report. So you can see if there was an officer injured, if a subject was injured, a certain date range, age, and everything like that. The next report is going to be your use of force versus events comparison report. This is a good report to be transparent with the public. So you can come in and run a report. You can either do it for events versus arrest versus use of force. So I can see here for this year in September, we had 2000 events. The, you had 50 arrests and you can't even hardly see the number of times force was used. If I break it down and just do arrest versus use of force, now I can see September we had 50 arrests and 17 times force was used. If I scroll down, it's going to give me a breakdown of total events versus use of force. It's going to give me that percentage, give me even further breakdown month, total events, use of force, and that percentage. Right hand side is going to give you that total arrests versus use of force with that percentage here in a month over month with those arrests, use of force and percentage here. This is printable by PDF. It's a one page report that you're able to put on your website, Facebook page, wherever you want the public to know how you are actually doing. The vehicle pursuit report is going to look a lot like your force report. So you have your vehicle pursuit summary. You can look as a department as a whole or by officer. So we'll just look at this year so far. It's going to give us our total cases, total incidents here, a breakdown of those pursuit info, um, everything within that report. So the initiating event, how many, and that percentage is on the right-hand side. The distance of pursuit, geographic area, traffic conditions, road conditions, lighting, the officer info, sex and race, subject info, sex and race, your pursuit termination, and your resolution and action taken on those vehicle pursuits. You can print this one in a PDF as well. You have your officer breakdown, so go ahead and select that time frame. Now I can see for this year we've had five so far. And out of those five, one was on Courtney, one was on John, and so far. And then you break down by incident type. So out of those five, one was for a traffic stop, three suspicious person, and so on. I can again select that employee here, get a quick dashboard of how they're doing within that time frame, change that time frame here if I want to, or print this off in a PDF. Your advanced pursuit report, just like that use of force, you can come in, mix and match this information, use this add advanced search. So mix and match any of this information that you're looking for. So maybe you want to know how many times was a certain stop technique used. You can go ahead and select that, hit search, and it's going to give you a breakdown of those. You can view these, export this out PDF and or Excel. The conduct wellness report here, there's a few different reports you can run with this. So you have your first one where you can mix and match this information. You can look at just conduct or just wellness. So maybe we want to know on our conduct type uh, for tardiness, how we're doing as a department as a whole. I can hit search. It's going to show you all those results. I can view these, export this out PDF and or Excel. Or maybe I want to know out of those, how many times was a policy review needed? I can hit search and it's going to show me those results even further down. For your wellness, again, come in, mix and match these. Maybe we want to know for our suicide incidents, how many we've had so far. I can hit search and it'll give me a breakdown of those. 
our conduct wellness summary. So you have your conduct summary and then your wellness. So your conduct summary here, you're going to be able to filter through either your completed ones, open or all open and completed. Choose a specific employee, a specific conduct type, and a certain time frame. This is going to show you a list of your employees on the left-hand side, points and percentage on the right-hand side. You can select on an employee, get a quick dashboard of how they're doing with their conduct. So a pie graph showing you that conduct type, pie graph showing you that action taken, a month over month of how they're doing with those conducts, and a breakdown of all those incidents within that time frame. And then your conduct type even further broken down at the bottom here. You can print this off in a PDF if you want it. You have your wellness summary. So again, filter through any of these here at the top. You're going to be able to have all your employees on the left-hand side, your points and percentage on the right. Again, select an employee. It'll give you that dashboard of how they're doing with their wellness, pie graphs, wellness type, action taken, month over month, and a breakdown of all those incidents within that time frame. You have your conduct wellness comparison report. So you can search by specific employees. You can look at different time frames. You can filter it either conduct high to low or wellness high to low. You're going to have your conduct in red, wellness in blue. Then you're going to be able to compare side by side how these employees are doing with their conduct and wellness. Right hand side will give you an actual number and a percentage for each of those. I can click on an employee, get that quick dashboard of their conduct, filter over, look at their wellness. Filter through different time frames if I needed to. Print this off in a PDF. Print the conduct wellness in a PDF if you wanted to do them side by side. The last report is going to be the alerts report. So any alerts that are triggered within the system, you're able to run a report on. You can look at just your complaints, use of force, conduct, wellness, or your early intervention. Maybe I want to look at my use of force reports for any of those alerts that needed an investigation afterwards. I can hit search. It's gonna give me a breakdown of all those alerts that were triggered. I can then view them. I can see how they were dispositioned out, any comments and who closed those, disposition, those alerts out. I can print this off in a PDF as well. Those are the multiple different reports you're able to run within the Pro Standards Tracker. Thank you for watching this video.